We are now going to use Notepad and the .NET Core CLI, which stands for Command Line Interface, to create our Hello Name application. The Command Line Interface is installed when you install the .NET Core SDK, which stands for Software Developers Kit. Please see details on where you can download this free software in the description below. First, let's verify the version of the .NET Core SDK installed on this computer. To do this, we type .NET and the appropriate option, so we type dash dash info. As you can see, on this computer, .NET Core 2.1.4 SDK is installed, and version 2.1.2 of the .NET Core runtime is installed. In order to get a list of all available project templates, we type the following, .NET New. As you can see, we have a variety of project templates listed below. And we can see the various options that are applicable to this command. We are only interested in the N option, which allows us to name our project using the CLI. If you don't use the N option to give your project a specific name, your project will be given the same name as your current directory. We can use the project template short name to indicate what project template we want to use for our project. Let's type our command. .NET new console-n hello name CLI. We'll append CLI as a suffix to our project name to identify that we are using the CLI to create this project and you can see the necessary files for our project are automatically generated for us. First, let's verify that our project directory has been generated. We want the directory that has been generated for our project to be our current directory, so we type cd hello name cli. Let's take a look at what files have been automatically generated in this directory. We can see the project file with the csproj file extension. And we can see the program.cs file, which is the file we'll amend with our custom code. But let's see what code has been automatically generated in the project.cs file. As you can see, by default, the Hello World code has already been generated for us. Let's run this code before we customize the project. And by default, the application outputs Hello World to the screen. Let's add our hello name code. We are going to use Notepad as our code editor, so we type notepad program.cs so that we can edit our code in Notepad. To save time, I've already copied our code to the clipboard, so we'll paste that in and save our file. Now let's run our code. And it is essentially the same experience as when we created the project using the Visual Studio IDE. Before we move on, let's look at the files that .NET Core has created after we have built and run our application. We'll use Windows Explorer for this purpose. So we type explorer. to see our current directory with Explorer. And as you can see, there is a bin directory for our compiled code. There is a debug directory which has been created by default. We can see here a directory named netcore app 2.1. The runtime and the version of the runtime are included as part of the directory name. And within this directory, our DLL assembly file has been created, which is the same name as our project name, hello name CLI. 